Aviation enthusiasts, brace yourselves for an exhilarating journey as we delve into the intriguing phenomenon known as poor rudder coordination, often referred to as the dreaded foot fumble. Now, visualize this. You're cruising along, enjoying the breathtaking scenery, when suddenly you need to make a turn. You apply the aileron, but your plane refuses to cooperate. It's like trying to steer a shopping cart with a broken wheel. What's happening? Demystifying the dreaded foot fumble. Poor rudder coordination occurs when a pilot struggles to harmoniously blend the use of rudder pedals and ailerons during flight maneuvers, especially turns. This can result in uncoordinated flight, where the aircraft slips or skids through the air, leading to a less efficient and potentially precarious flight path. Let's unravel the causes of the foot fumble. Training turbulence. Insufficient training and practice in rudder coordination can leave pilots feeling unsteady when trying to execute smooth and coordinated turns. Aileron addiction. Pilots that rely excessively on ailerons for turning might overlook the critical role of the rudder when maintaining balanced flight. Adverse yaw ambiguity. Adverse yaw, the aircraft's tendency to yaw in the opposite direction of the turn. Y'all? How y'all doing out there? We don't want this. We need to make sure we effectively counteract it with the rudder. Stress and distraction detours. During high pressure and distracting situations, pilots may revert to ingrained habits and neglect proper rudder coordination. Become one with that rudder, like it's an extension of your own two left feet. Feel its every nuance. Anticipate its every move. And soon you will be zipping through the clouds with the precision of a Blue Angels F-18 Hornet. Remember, mastering the art of rudder coordination is not just about avoiding the dreaded foot fumble. It's about unlocking a whole new level of aerial artistry. With practice, you'll be carving graceful turns, executing flawless landings, and leaving your fellow pilots in awe of your newfound finesse. As you keep practicing, it's crucial to not just rely on your instruments, but really feel the aircraft. Pay attention to the seat of your pants, literally. Your body can often sense when the plane is slipping or skidding, even before the instruments confirm it. That subtle shift in your seat, that uneasy sway, those are your cues that something's off. But here's the thing, every pilot, no matter how experienced, has had a moment where their feet didn't quite keep up with their hands. The key is to be aware of it, understand how it happens, and to be, uh, something else, and correct it. So next time you're out flying, make a mental note. How are your feet doing? Are they in sync with your hands? Are you keeping that ball centered? With consistent practice and a focus on coordination, you'll find that what once felt like a tricky dance will soon become second nature. The more you fly, the better you'll get. Mastering rudder coordination isn't just about nailing maneuvers. It's about becoming a safe, knowledgeable, and confident pilot. So keep those feet in motion, stay coordinated, and enjoy the smoother, more controlled flights that follow. Now go forth and conquer the skies, my friend. And remember, the sky's not the limit, it's just the beginning.